Hey guys, Brent Hole standing in Boston. I'm down the street at a board meeting in North Bennett Street. I'm in front of one of the oldest houses in Boston. How do I know? If you look up the street, there's big buildings, small buildings. Uh, you look this way, there's a bunch of new apartments. Where are we, okay? <laughs> We're in the north end of Boston. The north end was a wharf, right? It was an area where shipping and everything else came. Paul Revere's house, a very early house. How do you know it's early, okay? First of all, you look at the windows. The windows, in this case, are leaded glass, okay? They're leaded glass casements, really rare, okay, in America. And so you're, you're looking at a house that doesn't have wood sash. That building right there, that brick building, is also an old building, 1700s, but it has wood sash, wood double hung sash, one inch sash. This has leaded glass, okay? And look at the color of that glass. If you remember the Staub house, the Staub house, we have different colored glass in there. Why did they do that? Because glass technology wasn't very good then. And so we didn't have very clear sands and things like that. And so sometimes we'd end up with purple glasses and yellow glasses and green glasses. And so that's what you're seeing there. Look at the siding, okay? The siding is crazy in this thing because it's about four feet long. What's going on with that? Why do we have this breakup of the siding, all these different clicks here, and, and it's face nailed? What's going on? Okay, so what they did was they took a log like this and they, they cut the top of the log from the top. They spun it around, cut it, spun around, cut it. Now, why would they do that? Well, they're getting all quarter sawn lengths. And so they would have had a four foot log, okay? They would have cut it across the top. They would have snapped those little pieces off. And that's why you have such short little pieces in there, but it's all vertical grain, very stable stuff. If you look at the corner, the corners are mitered. Sometimes you guys are asking me, I was just talking to a client about mitered corners. They have mitered corners on, that, on the side of that building because this wood's very stable. They also have a planed edge on this thing. And look at the face of that siding, about three inches, okay? Remember, as far as dating the house and figuring out how old things are, you know, in the 50s, siding was, was redwood and it ended up being 10, 12 inches wide. I always like people to get a smaller face of the siding to show up because it conveys this older look. Four inches, five inches, don't get much bigger than that. But there are a bunch of great details in there. Look at the door, okay? All of these things I'm looking at, the glass, the door, the siding, the timber framing. You look at the big chimney up there and, and how it would have heated a number of different rooms. This was his office on the first floor and then it would have been his house on the second floor, right? So this is where he worked. This is where he made the, you know, the pewter vases and things. And, and this is where his house would have been. So anyway, awesome, cool house. I just wanted to show it to you all these great details, all this great elements here. And you see the pendants and the finials as they came down there and then the timber frame brackets, right? So basically this is a timber frame building and that overhang with those finials that come down is a popular feature that happened during that colonial era. You'll see it sometimes in 1940s houses. And so copying the past, right? How do you build an authentic house? Look at that door, okay? It's a board and batten door and look at all the nail, nails in there, locking the board and battens together. We know how it was constructed, that little, uh, the hardware on there. All of those things tell us about how old it is, tell us about when this was made. Amazing house right here, Freedom Trail, right down from North Bennett Street. You gotta come check it out. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Hull Millwork, Hull Homes. Sign up for the newsletter. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. I'm Brent Hull, thanks for watching.